Hello and welcome to programming a remainder operation on your TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. For this program I'm going to be using a certain type of software that will let me capture the screen of the calculator itself instead of using a video camera to try and make a better picture of me typing the thing in on the calculator itself. So hopefully this is a little better than my, pr my past videos, but we'll see how it goes. Now the first thing we're going to do for this program is we're going to actually define it as a program in the program key. So what we're going to do is hit program, we're going to go to create new under the last column and hit enter. Now it won't, the remainder won't fit on the name itself so you'll have to use some smaller version of remainder or something that you will be able to remember it as. I'm just going to hit remained. And hit enter when you're done with the uh, when you're done with the name, and you can start typing in the code. First thing we're going to do is display the variables that are involved. So you're going to hit, hit program, go to I dash O, and then you're going to choose the third option, which is display, and then you're going to hit enter. Bring up quotations, and then you're going to type A divided by B end quotations and then hit enter to bring up a new line. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to call we're going to prompt what the variables are going to be. So we're going to go to program key again. Go to i dash o and this time it's going to be the second option prompt. Then type in a comma b. Then bring up a new line on the code. This time we're going to be using the math key which is right underneath the alpha key hit math, go to the second column, which is number, then you're going to go to the fifth option, which is int integer, or int. Hit enter, then type in a divided by b, end quotations, and we're going to use the sto key, which is right, right above the on key, it says sto arrow, hit that, and brings up this arrow pointing to the right. I'm going to say that goes to c bring up a new line, and then type in A minus B times C, so again goes to D, bring up a new line. Now we're going to get into the parts where we actually display what our answers are at the end, at the end of the program. So we're going to hit program, go to I-O again, and hit display, then start bring up the quotation. I'm going to say the first one is the divisor, which is the number of times B will go into A without going over it. Then we're going to type in comma. And then we're going to say that is C. Then we're going to bring up another display. So the program, I O, display. Quotations. This time we're going to say it's a remainder. end quotation, comma, I'm going to say that's equal to D. Once you reach this point, the, the code running is over. In order to get out of this, just hit second mode. Now to actually test whether, whether the program works, you can hit program key again. And this time under execute, you can either scroll down all the way to the program that you found, or you can just do a quick search, go to alpha, then hit R, which will bring up any program which is named, which has a name starting with R. Once you found the program, hit Enter, and hit Enter again. It'll bring up the A, it'll bring up our display A divided by B, and then the prompt will bring up a blank A value, which we will have to define. Let's say it's going to be 10. Hit Enter, and it's going to bring up B B this time, and let's say it's going to be 3. Hit enter, and it'll give you the number of times it goes into 10 without going over it, which is the divisor, which is 3. 3 times 3 is 9, and it has a remainder of 1. 10 minus 9 is 1. So if we want to do this again, just to make sure it works with large numbers as well, let's say 
that the first number is going to be something large like one five two four six eight nine or something or uh one million five hundred twenty four thousand six hundred and eighty nine and let's say that the divisor is going to be something smaller like twenty five so the divisor is obviously pretty large because there's a lot of twenty fives that go into that number sixty thousand plus and it has a remainder of fourteen so there you have it this is how to program a remainder function in your TI-83 and TI-84 calculator.